Hi everybody and welcome to a video in which we are going to look at one of the scales of measurement that we need to learn and this time we're looking at capacity. Now I think the best advice I can give is before having a look at capacity take a look and make sure you've studied the measurements of length. Have a look at centimetres and metres and millimetres because I think having done that first it will help you see the similarities between the two scales and see that working out the conversions is a very similar method. I do have a video on lengths on my channel if you want to have a look at that first. OK, let's go. Let's start with a definition then, and capacity simply means how much something will hold, and usually refers to liquids, which is why we have a measuring jug here. Now, anyone who's already had a look at measuring lengths will have got used to some of the units that are used for that skill, maybe millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres. Now we're going to use the same metric system of measuring here for capacity and in fact all we really do is change the word metre for litre. Now the nice thing is that as far as level 1 functional skills is concerned we only need to worry about two different units and those are the millilitre so that obviously is similar to the millimetre and therefore is the smallest. We then have the litre and those are the only two that we are going to get involved with today. Let's have a look at the maths between them. Well quite simply one litre is equal to 1000 millilitres and as you've seen I use ml for millilitre and quite often you will just see L for litre. What we need to be able to do then is to convert between millimetres and litres. Now we know that the relationship is a thousand, we just need to be careful that we are making a calculation in the right direction. So if we are converting from millilitres to litres we need to divide by a thousand. For instance 4,500 millilitres if we divide that by a thousand, we get 4.5 litres. And of course, when we're going the opposite way around, from litres down to millilitres, we therefore multiply by a thousand. Let's go back to the jug. Another thing that we need to be able to do is to actually look and read an amount on a scale. So I've put the level of the liquid in here. And as you can see, there's no actual number where the red line is but it's between 2 and 400 millilitres, therefore it must be 300. You may need to be a little bit more careful if the level was somewhere like here, because of course now it is between 2 and 300, therefore it would be 250 millilitres. We can see on the scale here of course that 1000 millilitres is a litre, therefore a half a litre would be 500 millilitres. Let's have a look at a typical type of question that we might face. So Mina has bought a large container of shampoo. She wants it to refill her smaller bottle every time it's empty. So we're being asked how many times can she fill the smaller bottle with the larger one. Now excusing my terrible drawings here, here we have the larger bottle and we've been told that it holds 6 litres of shampoo. The bottle that she wants to fill is 750 millilitres. So we've been giving a different unit for each of the bottles. We therefore need to convert one of them. Let's do it by multiplying the litres and turning it into millilitres. Why would I do it this way? Well if I do it the other way I'm going to end up with decimal points and that just makes things a little bit more tricky. Now if we have 6 litres, we know that in order to convert to millilitres we have to multiply by a thousand, so in fact the larger bottle is 6,000 millilitres. To find out how many times we can refill the smaller bottle, we are going to take 6,000 and divide it 
by 750. And if we do that, we find the answer is 8. Don't worry about the long division here. This type of question, you would have a calculator to help you work the last part out. What is important is that you know the conversion rate here and to multiply by a thousand. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you are working at functional skills level one, those are the two units of measurement that you need to be learning. But I do want to take this a little bit further because you might take a look around and see certain containers that have a different unit of measurement. And I'm particularly thinking about certain bottles of water that you can buy, particularly uh, from abroad, and also bottles of alcohol. And they do not use the milliliter and the liter. So let's have a quick look at that. Well, you might look at one bottle of water and see that it actually says 500 milliliters which we know 500 is a half of a thousand, so that's the same as half a litre. However, some bottles don't say 500 millilitres, they say 50 cl, and cl is centilitres. The good news about this is that if you've already had a look at measuring lengths, where we have millimetres, and we know there are 10 millimetres, in a centimetre and we know there are 100 centimetres in a metre. If you haven't had a look at this, I will put a link to this video on the end here. What you need to remember is that a millilitre has 10 to a centilitre, which has a 100 to a litre. So the two scales are exactly the same, therefore the conversion rates are the same. I'll say again, if you are working at functional skills level one, you will not come across the centilitre, but it might be something you want to have a look at for the future. So that's capacity. I hope that helped and I hope you're seeing the similarities between converting the units of capacity and also length and indeed weights, which work very similarly as well. For those of you who are not so sure about dividing by a hundred and a thousand without using a calculator, I've put a link to my video here, which shows you how to do that. If you found that useful, please hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the like button as well, you'll get to see all my new videos. Thank you.